Um, Back and to where I, it used I to really, be. I really think it's because of the creative. Okay. Uh, so my first creative kept getting auto flagged by Facebook and I had to submit a request for review to get it running again. What's and I different. Huh? What's different about it? Um, my ad copy and some of the things that I said in the video, I've, I've used this, uh, I've used this, this particular type of ad multiple times. And, you know, every time it got banned, I, I kind of just try to figure out why over and over. And I finally got one that just got auto approved. Okay. Can you go ahead and filter by active and then show me the ad? Okay. I see that you requested remote control. I tried yeah, it's to not do letting it. me, no worries. Okay. Filter by active. And then just go to active ads. Yep. And then just go to the ad level. Sorry, I, I was refreshing it. All right. Yeah, you know, then just show me which ad is converting. Okay, perfect. You're testing interest. That passive income audience really is just doing phenomenal. Yeah, this is actually the, the broad one. I need to change this. I need to change the name. Um, oh, the broad entirely. Yeah, this is it. This is just, there's no targeting on this one. Yeah, it's unfortunate because they pulled away the data. So you don't even know where these, like who these people are. Yeah. All right, go to the ad level on that one. I just want to see the ads, see which ones are converting and which ones. Oh, are okay. So ad level right here, like this screen, right? Mm -hmm. They're all okay. converting. Okay. My ROAS is pretty tight, I think. Yeah, 8.44. That's the best I've ever seen. Can you go inside this ad set? See, your broad is really figured out. So this is very common. After about like a couple of months of running, it's very normal for your open targeting to just figure it all out. And remember like at the beginning of the course, it's like your open targeting is eventually gonna surpass everything you're doing. Yeah. Because it's just gonna get so good. But it's usually not like an eight to one, like you choosing audiences, you're getting like a one X, two X, right? But yeah. Targeting has gotten so sophisticated that it's figuring out how to get eight X without you, which is really meaning like, you know, this algorithm compared against what you're choosing is like beating you out eight to one with ROAS. That's, that's Three never times. happened before. Yeah, so I like, would scale the open targeting by 10, like just add five bucks to it because I mean, it's so cheap cost for purchase. If, I mean, like you might as well. Wouldn't that reset the learning on this? It's not going to even be out of learning. Okay. So yeah, just do $10 on this one. Okay. And then to me, this tells us that if your broads got it figured out, there's a good chance that your lookalikes could end up performing just as good. When I tried the lookalikes, they didn't, they didn't work. When was the last time you tried them? Um, I think last month. Okay. What, what are these two at the bottom here? Um, employment agency and like, yeah, just cut those two at the bottom. Okay. And then let's look at duplicating your broad and giving a lookalike audience a shot. Are those videos in your broad? Uh, yes, I could. Do you have UTMs? It didn't work because I, I had to edit the creative like for placements so it's not like sharing engagement or anything like that here i think i have control let me check something so i can just see them for myself you never added the it says campaign name utm medium equals facebook utm contents Okay, yeah, that says stacked. That doesn't look like you set it up correctly though. Okay, these all say the same thing, stacked. 
because I'm wondering, we might be able to create a lookalike based off of only people in the open targeting, which would be incredible. But since your UTMs aren't properly set up, that could prevent us from doing so. Hmm. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Yeah, it says the same thing here, so we can't do that. That sucks. Um, but I wasn't trying to. There track is something the going on here. Ads. That's. I was just trying to see, like, you know, if Facebook was converting. So I just copied the UTM and everything, and I made it the same. Yeah, I would turn these off here for sure, because this one has all your purchases. It's at a 9X, so that campaign could be doing very well. Okay. The rest of these here have no volume, so it doesn't really matter. Um, for the open targeting, Yeah, you have zero auction overlap, which is great. And you have zero auction competition, which is also great. All right, so here's what I'd propose we do is like you create, we duplicate this since it is working. We try to create an audience that's as similar as possible. It would ideally we just use a UTM that says like open targeting and we create a look like based off of anybody in the open targeting audience because like you don't know who's in that audience, right? Because it's all of right. us. So the look like would be of people who are in that, who are purchasing from that audience specifically and then engaging with it and are being shown it, which would be really good. But the closest thing we can do is create a custom audience and then create a look like from a video. Let's see if we can do this. Are those videos? Uh, some of them are, two of them are in the open and the, the, and I think I have videos. two videos. Yeah. This one. No, not that one. Not that one. Uh, it NYC phone buyer, the second one, that one. So what we do here is we'll just go ahead and, is it in here? Um, yes, it's all of these with me and like the, which ones are the ones you're running currently July. Yeah, these. This one? I don't remember using that one, but yeah, I don't think I used that June. one. Yeah, these, all of these. These? Yeah, two? I uploaded them on, on in June, but I didn't start running it until July. Just these two? Um, all of those videos of me in that shirt. None, none, of, these. none of these on the second one. Everything on the first page except that one with the red borders. Okay. Then we'll yeah, just all go of those. these two confirm these two. We'll say watch 25% of it. How long are these videos? They're about a minute and 50 seconds. Okay. I'm going to try one other thing. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I think we can see what, let's see if we can find out what point people click through it on that video. Because if we could create an audience based off of this, you could really scale at Eleven dollars. That would be great. Because all it is is an audience issue for you. It's not an ad issue because we know the ads are working. It's just that the audiences need to be lined up. So That's essentially, it. what we could do is do video engagement on this open targeting. So two hundred and sixty-eight people made it to twenty-five percent, but how many click through? Two hundred and sixty-eight versus. 69 link clicks. Okay. So that essentially tells us even after 25%, still not that many have clicked through. So let's see if we can get that down even more. Essentially, I'm trying to get this number as close as possible. The link click number as close as possible with the video engagement. Got you. So looks like the 95. 95 yeah. We're gonna need a little bit more than a hundred though in order to match this up. So at least by the 50% mark, we know pretty much most of these people are clicking through. That's yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so we'll go here and we'll switch this to 50. That gives us at least a hundred. We'll choose those two. 
those three actually. And then we'll remove the 25% and then we'll just deal 50% video views. Now, what we would have done is segmented this by people who only came out of the open audience, right? Yeah. With that UTM, but we can't do that here, right? Because it's gonna be for all audiences, but we're gonna use the data as if it's from the open. And we're gonna create just a one percenter um, from that for the US. Create audience. And then that's it. You have that audience here. Okay. Oops. All right. So yeah, then you like, let's just see how this audience does, you know, and we can start testing different lookalikes and stuff like that to see where they go. Okay. So don't, don't do anything else except leave, leave this one, right? Yeah. All Everybody right. scaled your open by double. We'll see how these, and then like we can test more lookalikes, but that's just one of them, right? Okay. So you the wanna... interest, you don't, you don't think I'm going to have much luck with any interest. The drop shipping one is really like, no, yeah, interest. you can have luck with interest. It's just, you got to get more specific because these audiences are not lined up with who your opens going after your opens figured out somebody better than you have. The drop shipping is a lot closer to your open. So that's obviously the right direction. I'm just, I'm, I'm really not sure what I should be targeting. I, I want to target people who want to learn how to make money and you know of course people who do drop shipping want to make money but it's like i i put it in in uh like interest insights or whatever and i it's really hard to come up with other audiences yeah it looks like you don't have access to audience insights do you i do right there it's uh yep so what we could do is it would be the nyc phone bar So, okay, let's just go to potential audience. Let's just do filter by you. Do you have any ages set to your audiences? No, everything's open. So 1865 gender open. Gender is open too. All right, let's just look at drop shipping since that's the closest one. Is this the correct one? Yeah. And then are you doing English or anything? Nope. All right. So. Wow, 10 million? Yeah. So United States all drop shipping. And 61% of it's women. So what you could do is line up your metrics with these other audiences. Like what's another audience you had in there potentially? Um like for instance, job interview, right? If we look at job interview, it's $83 cost per purchase, which is nowhere near, you know, $18, right? Right. So let's look at how far that all is off. So 61% is women. And then we have, you know, the bulk in 25 to 34. And then these two are the bulk, right? And then it drops down from here. Yeah. So if we go to job interview, let's just see if it's similar or far away. Okay. It's actually the opposite. It goes small to large, whereas drop shipping goes large to small, right? The right. largest category was here and it goes down. This one's the largest category is this way and it's going the opposite way. Same for just about the same in terms of, you know, the ladies, right? Women. Yeah. But look what happens whenever we do drop shipping. And it makes sense because younger people are drop shipping. So boom, totally reversed. You saw that? Yeah. Even though these stayed the same. Yeah. So when we look at your open and stuff like that, there's a good chance that this audience is probably skewing young. Now, I don't think you'll have this report, which you probably shouldn't because Okay, it's going to give us reach. That's good enough. And look, remember how we were just looking at drop shipping, how most of the budget was like these were the main audiences and it goes uh, down as the edge goes up. So does this one. Yes. Now if we look at, you know, Let's go to job interview. Yeah, a lot of it's in 25 to 34, but the rest of it's pretty even and scattered, right? This one yeah. drops. Where is it? 
I just lost the open. This one drops perfectly. Just how that graph relayed. That makes sense for drop shipping. Yeah, and your link clicks are bulk in here for young, younger, which makes sense. This is the bulk of your link clicks. 25 to 44. Yeah, whereas job interview, you're skewing 45 to 54 and skewing a little bit more in this direction. Even in the young range, you're not getting anything. But up here, this is where you're skewing, right? So, I mean, like we can do some preliminary preliminary analysis and like draw some sort of, you know, conclusion here. Now, you would need a lot more data to prove this, of course. This is just one subset of data. But if you pull this across all of your audiences, there's a good chance that it's probably going to line up, right? So you might want to find audiences that are similar to how drop shippings go. So like, have you ever targeted like Shopify? No, I've never targeted Shopify. Well, it looks identical to the dropping range, right? Yeah. Just like drop shipping, looks like the same outcome. Look, 61% women again. And look, it's dropping down the same way. Is that right? Yeah. And then if we just put those together, let's see if they just stay the same. I mean, pretty much the exact same, right? Nothing really changed. It means it overlaid perfectly. It just doubled right. in size. So you could go after Shopify. Okay. And that that's one way to do it. Now, if you do job interview and you do, self-employment, these are probably two different things, but yeah, they are. So, you know, job interviews is something you want to shift away from. Okay. Right. So I would make those changes. So turn off job interview. Mm -hmm. And then go after audiences that are similar to dropshipping, like Shopify. Okay. And you're going to make sure the metrics line up, right? So to get here, I just need to go to audience insights and do my research. Yeah. Okay. And then like, and then you can look up Shopify competitors. Oh, wow. Okay. And, I've tried WooCommerce. You know, no success with that. Yeah. You got to be careful. You're going to have to try to line up the wording a lot better. Okay. Yeah, WooCommerce is dying out. <laughs> okay. Dying. All right, cool. That's it, Feldman. Thank you, Chase. Yeah, no problem.